The dismissal. You don't need to know who I'm on about or what sport I'm talking about. You're going to know anyway. If you follow sport and you're keen on sport, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's the David Bairstow dismissal over the weekend against the Aussies in the latest test match in the Ashes. Uh, the Aussies have taken Bairstow's wicket. Some would say not in the spirit of the game. I'd be very much on that bandwagon. Um, they've won the test based on it to go 2-0 up in the Ashes. An almost unassailable lead. Um, I'm a believer in you win the game the right way and you lose the right way with a touch of class be it win or lose I sort of want to win at all costs like the Aussies do but again as long as it's the right way I want to try really 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 hard to win but to win as I keep saying the right way I don't think the Aussies won that one the right way and I think had we done it to one of their batsmen even if it had won us the game, I'd have been all against it. It's not just a, um, the fact that I'm English that makes me biased. I don't want us to win that way neither. I do not think they should have done what they did. I think it was wrong. And the crazy thing about it is, I think there's every chance that had they had not took Bestos wicket that way, they would have still won the match. We still needed 40, 45 more. It was a tall order to start with, and we was always up against it. There's no saying that Bestow had stayed in that would have won the game. I still think the Aussies would have been favourite to win that match. But either, even if they had lost that game, it's then still only one all. And on paper, the Aussies have got the best team. They were always favourites to win the series. And I think they probably still would have done. They almost certainly will now. But I think they probably would have done anyway. They should have backed themselves to go and win the series without having to resort to the kind of tactics that they did. And I'll give you one little, one little story. It's not a story, it's something I've thought of about 20 minutes before doing this this post in this video here. Totally different sports, and I do know the Aussies haven't cheated. I don't think what they did was within the spirit of the game, but they haven't cheated. Um, but I'll give you a different sport. I'll give you snooker, and I'll just give you a what if. I'll just give you a scenario. It's only a scenario, it's never happened. It's a scenario. You've got Jimmy White there, who I believe has played in six World Championship finals, never ever won one. Never won, always been close. Let's say in his sixth final, and I can't remember who it was against, let's say I think it's normally about first to 18. Let's say this 17 all, him and his opponent 17 all, and White's at the table and he's on, say, 50 points, and all the Reds look at his mercy, and it looks like if he clears the table, he wins 18 17 and becomes world championship after trying for 20 odd years. I've seen before at snooker where a snooker player's been at the table and they foul the White. Uh, often it's been seen by the ref uh, and they've walked away from the table and the guy's got in but I've seen it on many occasions when they've vir virtually feathered it they've barely touched it and the cameras haven't picked it up and the player's declared a foul himself and he said ref I've touched the ball there they walk away and they let the other player in now someone like White I'm going to an extreme here who tried to win it for 20 years and got to 6 finals even at 6 finals at 17 across and with the frame at his mercy if he touches that white and nobody in the arena and nobody on TV knows he's done it, he is still going to say, I've touched that white ref, I've fouled. And he's going to walk away and let the other person in. And that other person is probably going to come and clear it up, win the match and become world champion. That's how keen white and all snooker players are on winning the right way. Now, I know if he touches it and doesn't declare it, he's cheating. The Aussies haven't cheated. But I'm giving you an, I'm giving you the, how keen... The snooker players to win the right way and now the Aussies weren't as keen on winning the right way but just keen on winning and I think that's a big difference and I think it's a real shame I just think it's a real shame I don't think they had to run out best as they did but that's only my opinion no doubt you'll have yours no doubt you'll have yours